Most people look at education and say it's impossible. The research suggests that as early as first grade, students are checking out. If they aren't excited or if they don't see how it is relevant to their life, kids are either bored or lost. We need a different way of looking at what we learn, why we learn, and how do we use what we learn. We need to teach people how to think. I'm gonna take a trip to Venus. Early on in the life of the Foundation, George said, a lot of people know education ought to be different, but they don't know in what way. Saying that it needs to be better is very, very easy. The how is very, very hard. So the idea of making an archive of what works in education seemed like a great idea. We started focusing on technology, but very quickly moved to the broader notion, how can we help make education better for kids? Okay, so we'll start with your first sample now. We started with making movies of classrooms and processes that work and putting them on videotapes. And then the internet became viable and we were able to take all the ideas and put them in one place so people had access to them. We decided we needed to define what education is. What are we educating kids? How do people actually learn? The George Lucas Educational Foundation has the mission to tell the stories of what works in education. Yes! Edutopia has spent a quarter century creating materials, documenting great teachers, talking about how you can make those classrooms more in tune with what actually interests students. Sweet, it works! <laughs> I look at Edutopia as an experience for teachers, parents, administrators, even for students to see what's possible. Who here have dreams and goals they want to achieve in their life? Edutopia is like the best staff room we could ever have. One of the most powerful aspects of Edutopia is being able to see other teachers working in their classrooms. What was the problem we're trying to solve? Here's people doing it in Texas. Here's people doing it in North Dakota. Here's people doing it in New York City. You just see it, and it works. Schools That Work is a series of excellent schools across the K through 12 spectrum that have evidence that what they're doing works. I really like to read. I would read 50 books a day if I had the time. Our most significant impact is when we can make successful practices accessible to more and more educators so that they can try it out. Let's do it. A lot of what we do now focuses on methodology. We're trying to introduce people to social emotional learning, to multidisciplinary studies, to project-based learning, things that have been taken for granted for so long. You know, there's a lot of talk these days about project-based learning or inquiry, and these aren't just nice-to-haves. The key for every learner is as soon as they get excited about something, they're off to the races, and it's hard to keep the knowledge from them. We're looking to see if the bubble is between the lines. It is! Nice work, people. The skills kids need to come out of high school and college with are the skills of a problem solver, of a creative thinker, of a collaborator, of a lifetime learner. That's what our goal is, is to help people see what's possible and then implement it in a way that changes what kids learn. I don't think the work of the foundation will ever run out of things to do because as we progress and the world changes, the educational system is going to have to change with it. Yes, yes. And so we have to try to help it along. <laughs>